up you guys girl and back with another video period before i start please excuse my hair i did not feel like doing it today so i just threw a scarf on okay for today's video we're gonna be talking about the soft food stage the soft food stage is the fourth stage so for me the soft food stage was two weeks long it was days 36 to days 49 after surgery so after being on the puree diet for two weeks you no longer have to blend your foods like you did in the puree stage so my book says that you will now slowly add foods that are soft in consistency soft texture foods can easily be cut with a fork also during this stage you will be chewing your food to like a pudding consistency because your stomach is still healing so with meat what they suggested was like a moist cooking method so basically cooking that adds moisture to meat is poaching simmering boiling stewing steaming and braising so one thing that is great to use is like a slow cooker or a crock pot those cook meats to where they're like soft and not too chewy and then dry cooking methods include baking grilling and roasting those will basically dry out the meat making it more difficult to chew and digest properly and that's when you get like the discomfort the pain and all that mm. i was allowed to add like broth or low-fat gravy to my meat to make it easier to chew so i'm just gonna go through the list of stuff that i ate and the stuff that they recommend number one protein shakes of course protein shakes was in every stage so. okay sorry if i look switched up a bit my camera died so i had to go charge it but now i'm back i was saying that i did both regular protein shakes and clear protein shakes during the soft food stage the next thing is protein bars i did not do protein bars but that is definitely recommended in the soft food stage but it can't have nuts in it it has to be like a soft protein bar next thing is eggs hard boiled or scrambled i did try both i think i did scrambled eggs in the puree stage for the soft stage that's when i started the hard boiled eggs so i thought in my mind that i was going to be able to get down two boiled eggs i think i got in three quarters of one egg and i was stuffed to the max so my suggestion would be to start with one egg also during the soft food stage you could add cheese to your omelet to your scrambled eggs whatever program you're in sometimes they let you do the cheese for the puree stage but they suggested that I added cheese during the soft food stage so it was a little bit easier to digest another thing on here is the egg salad it's a no for me dog but I know a lot of people who have weight loss surgery end up trying it and love it because it goes down smooth so I told y'all how to cook the meat but I didn't tell y'all the list of meat that we're allowed to have at this stage so I'm gonna read it from the list it's chicken white or dark ground chicken white or dark turkey white or dark ground turkey white or dark fish so that includes flounder cod mild flaky fish and fish like that tuna packed in water mm -mm. lean pork tenderloin lean ground beef sirloin beef sirloin tenderloin low fat deli meat and shellfish shrimp lobster crab this was my time to shine i was waiting and counting on the days where i could have crab legs because that's my favorite food for dairy products we could have sugar-free pudding like the other stages which i think was full liquids and puree non-fat milk low fat milk non-fat lactate milk light soy milk unsweetened almond milk plus protein so what i do is i always do almond milk i don't do regular milks you can have greek yogurt regular yogurt with or without fruit but they did want it to be less than 10 grams of sugar and over 10 grams of protein in a four to six ounce serving so the ones that i tried were the ones from aldi's they're like a berry greek yogurt and they're actually good because i'm not a huge fan of regular greek yogurt for the cheese category, light cottage cheese, ricotta cheese, part skim, reduced fat cheese, cheese stick, low fat. So cottage cheese was a no for me. I did not have ricotta cheese at all since surgery, but I did say before that I wanted to try the ricotta bake, so I think I'm gonna try that this week. And then cheese sticks was one of my faves, the Colby Jack cheese sticks and the mozzarella cheese sticks. If you are vegan, there are some vegan options. I have a plant-based protein source list here. It's black bean burger, beans, lentils, peanut butter creamy, tree nut butters creamy and tofu so those are some options that you can have during the soft food stage that are plant-based and protein sources for fruits they did have to be like mushy and you cannot have the skin during this time we can have canned fruits and waters and we could also have unsweetened applesauce for the vegetables they have to be soft and tender they can't have like peels or skin on them i really liked green beans during the soft food stage because those aren't too chewy and they're really soft and easy to chew up let's get into the starches the potatoes is number one they had to be mashed boiled or baked with no skin you can have sweet potatoes as well but they had to have no skin we can have oatmeal cream of wheat with your choice of milk from the milk list that they give you and also cold cereal i think that means like um the cereal you pour out the box but of course you have to find one that is low sugar if that's what they mean by cold cereal 
think that's what they mean by cold cereal. Yeah. I also wanted to include this because it says foods to be avoided until at least one or two months after surgery. So foods with seeds, peels, or husks. So that's why the potatoes and the fruit and everything said no skins, no um, peels. Raw fruits and raw vegetables, strawberries and other berries, corn unless pureed, peas unless pureed, and citrus fruit sections. So those are to be avoided until one to two months after surgery. So my favorite things to eat during the soft food stage was eggs and soft chicken. I also really like to make my own protein shakes. I still do. So my favorite protein shake was like mixing like a vanilla powder with a banana and some peanut butter. And that's still my go-to protein shake. Another one of my favorites was beans. I really loved beans. Those are easy to chew and get down with no problems at all. You just got to be careful because beans give you gas and you don't want gas, honey. So I was still trying to get 60 grams of protein in a day and still sipping on sugar-free liquids and water between each meal. During this stage, I was working on getting a lot of protein in with food instead of relying on the protein drinks. So I was doing one protein shake a day and then trying to get the rest in with food. So that is all my soft stage foods. If you have any other recommendations, leave them in the comments below. Let's help each other out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at Ambralia, A-M-B-E-R-A-L-I-Y-A-A. -A -A. That's two A's at the end. I actually just posted a protein shake hack on there. So go check that out. It's in my highlights. It says VSG Foods on my Instagram. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.